Any sign? I found it. Let's get it! Let's go, 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 go! What the? Um, do you? <laughs> Let's go inside. Ordinary ramen is fine, but come on, you can obviously do better than just adding noodles and hot water, right? What I personally like to do is modify it. So today, I will be teaching you guys how to make face ramen. So face ramen is my own personal way of making ramen. It's basically ramen, but it looks like a face. Don't worry, I'm not a human face, don't worry. <laughs> I don't have an official way to make it because I like to throw in random ingredients. But most of the time, my ingredients are green. I'm going to need ramen, canned corn, mushrooms, sprouts, eggs, turkey meat, but if you don't have that, you can just use ham too, bok choy, celery, and green onion. You'll also need soy sauce, taco seasoning, beef cube, ground black pepper, butter, and olive oil. Usually I use one pack, but I'm also making this for my mom too, if she requested, so I'm actually going to be using two. So I'm actually going to mumble my ingredients. So, enough talking, let's get cooking. First things first, you're gonna want to boil the eggs first. I like to put salt in mine because once it's done boiling, the shells will be easier to peel. And before you guys say it doesn't work, I've actually tested it once and it actually does work. I'm talking to you, Isaac. So we're gonna set that to the max heat. While the eggs are boiling, let's get the grains ready. And if you want, you can also peel it just to get all that brown stuff to hold the way. Using a knife is not professional, so I kind of messed up my celery, but who cares? It's gonna get cut up anyways. All right, the vegetables are ready, so now it's time for the mushrooms and the lunch meat. If it's for one person, then I would recommend two pieces. If I'm making it for two people, I'm gonna be using four. I cut my turkey meat into little square shapes. My favorite part of this meal. Now for our corn, we're gonna toss this in the microwave for now. And you're gonna wanna place it inside your microwave for, let's give it 10 minutes since it's just one can. I just realized my stupid self put it in there for 10 seconds. My bad. Now to saute our ingredients, we're gonna use some olive oil. Um, add a decent amount, a little more. And then move it around the pan. Don't add too much though, because we're going to add some butter. But not until the pan is heated up. So we're going to turn this down to near medium low heat. Spread all your oil out one more time, and when it's hot and ready, time to add in the butter. Now add a generous amount, and that should be good. I'm only adding a little extra because I'm adding extra vegetables to it. Go ahead and add your celery, your green onion, and your bok choy. I would cook the greens first since they take a little longer, so let's bring that into the hot pan. But we're gonna let these cook up first, and then we'll add the mushrooms and then the lunch meat. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir that a few times. I would say maybe about every few minutes you give it a stir. Move all your greens aside, add a little more butter to this side, because now it's time that we add in the mushrooms and the lunch meat. Now we add our mushrooms and our lunch meat. We're not going to add our seasonings just yet. First, we still gotta continue stirring this. I'm having a little trouble doing this because I'm not a lefty, but I'm using my dominant hand to film. Just to give it a little bit of flavor, we're gonna add just a tiny little bit of soy sauce. Not a lot, just a little bit. Just enough for all of it. Our corn is done, so we're gonna strain out all that juice, give it a little shake. And just for now, we're gonna toss it in the pan. We're not gonna cook it in here. This is just, just to leave it in here in temp. So it looks like the eggs are finally done and I have no idea what the heck happened, but all I know is that all the water 
kind of dissolved. This is not how I usually make them, but well, you don't need to worry though. The eggs are fine, but for some reason, the inside of the pan, I have no clue what the heck all this is, but it looks like snow. But trust me, that ain't, that ain't as cold as snow. This is pretty hot. We get these eggs ready in a bath full of ice cold water. Before you put the eggs in, go ahead and shower off all that salt. All over the shell, toss them aside here and let them cool. And we'll set these aside because the eggs are finally done. Dump this bowl and give it a rinse because we're going to need it right now. Go ahead and toss your vegetables inside the strainer. Shake the strainer for a while. And now it's time we add our seasoning. For seasoning, go ahead and add some taco seasoning black pepper. Add just a tiny bit of water just so some of the seasoning can dissolve. We're gonna put this back on the stove. We're gonna put it to a lower heat so it can cook up a little more. In the meantime, it's time to get our ramen broth ready. So we have a little bit of that soy sauce flavor from here. Add a little more water and once this heats up, we're gonna pour in a beef cube. Once it starts to heat up, now you're just gonna add one beef cube. Go ahead and add in your ramen, but do not add the flavoring though. The flavoring is going to go into the bowl. Go ahead and stir your ramen until it's nice and soft. Once you got it all set, go ahead and give it a little mix with the flavoring. Now when you peel your egg, all right, so you're gonna, you're gonna cut the first part in half, and then the second egg, this is going to be the mouth. And then you're gonna cut this half off, and after a little bit of cutting, you got yourself a little smiley face. Pour your noodles back into the pan, and then we're gonna start pouring the vegetables in. Move it all to the side. The noodles are gonna go in the middle. And then you're gonna add the decoration eyes and then the mouth and before we forget let's add the sprouts i'm gonna rip off a little piece which is really hard i'm gonna place it as hair and as you can see i kind of ripped the mouth so so we'll just say this is the nose and this will be the mouth now now i know this looks a little bit different different from the thumbnail but again i said i had no official way of doing this and you know the other one looked professional so i decided to use that instead so but just so you guys know you guys have not been clickbaited um, because I basically just did the same thing. Alright, our decoration's done, but now it's time to drown our soup. Goodbye, old friend. It was nice knowing you. Right, now the most important thing is the taste test. So let's grab a bit of mushroom, grab a bit of egg, grab a bit of noodle. Alright. Got some good stuff. <laughs> You know what the worst part of cooking is? Do I really have to clean these dishes? Yes! Ah, oh, crap.